There was a breast liver from the previous generation. His name was Rav Chaim Binyamin Brody. He is buried here in Jerusalem on Har Menuchot. He was a very, very simple, devoted, and committed breast liver chassid. He uh, lived a time in Uman, lived a time in Medjibuz, the city of the Baal Shem Tov, lived a time in Moscow, Moscow, and eventually him and his family got exit visas to leave and to come to the Holy Land. And he succeeded at the time of the KGB, communist Russia, to raise a totally religious family. And he literally risked his life to give his children Torah education when it was totally forbidden. Because of that, he was caught many times by the KGB, you know, on, obviously on false charges and everything, and he always had miracles. The main thrust behind the miracles was again the simple emuna that he had in Hashem and in the power of the tzaddikim. And what he also, he ingrained into his family, his wife and his children. To illustrate this, the following story about him, that once, once he was taken by the KGB, again on false charges, and they came and took him into jail Friday, Erev Shabbat. And the wife and the kids were left with nothing at home, because they had also nothing to eat. And they were worried, of course, the people, the, the people in the community, what's going to be? So his young daughter, who eventually married the famous rabbi, Rav Yaakov Galinsky of blessed memory, she also passed away about a year ago, Mrs. Galinsky, Aliyah Shalom. She was, as a little girl, she knew what to do. She, she went simply to the grave of Rabbi Nachman, at the time they lived in Uman, and she was davening there, please Hashem, let my father come out. Please let my father come out. A little girl praying by Rabbi Nachman's grave, and it was time for the davening Friday night, and some breast livers came to pray by Rabbi Nachman's grave, and as in, as in line with the code of Jewish law, it's not proper to pray if there's a woman there. So they asked her, the little girl, go back home. It's dark now, you're all alone here. And she said, I'm not leaving here, I'm davening here for my father. And they said, you know, go home, what is your, uh, what, what's there to do more? She said, I'm not leaving here, I have to daven still. So they told her just to go on the other side of the wall, and they had a minyan. And after the davening, they finished praying, the, these breast livers, she, she told them, my father's going to come out of Shabbat. After Shabbat, my father's going to come out of jail. And they said, how are you so sure? She said, you'll see. She went back home, and lo and behold, after Shabbat, they get a telegram that from the father that he's out of jail and he's coming home. They were amazed, also amazed how the daughter, she knew what would happen, what actually happened. Shabbos morning, they went into the cell, the, the police, uh, the, the KGB, they went into the cell where this Chaim uh, Binyamin Brody was and they told him, sign here and you can leave. So he said to them, I'm not signing, it's Shabbat for me, it's the Sabbath day, I am, I don't, it's forbidden for me to sign. They said, if you don't sign here, you'll be staying here for the rest of your life. So he started dancing in front of them, he said, I'm so happy, I have here a nice bed, I have bread, I have water, I have everything I need, and he started dancing. And he got them so upset, they say he's such a wacko, this guy, you know, we're telling him to leave. So they just threw him into the room, back into the room, they locked the door. And they see him dancing, happy that he doesn't, he can't, he, he won't desecrate the Shabbat, and he has bread to eat and water and a bed. The main thing, he's not desecrating Shabbat. You know, after an hour, they came back saying, "Okay, can you sign?" He said, "I can't sign. It's the Sabbath day." So he said they wanted to get rid of him because they couldn't stand him. They said, "So when can you sign?" He said, "Only by nightfall. When you see three stars, you know, in a certain position, then I can, I, I can sign." So they were anxious for the day to finish just to get him out. So after Shabbat, and that, that doesn't normally happen. You know, with the KGB, you mess with them. <laughs> we know stories already, what happened to many people, of the fear and the, pa and the panic that they put into people. So after Shabbat, the KGB came, can you sign now? And he says, yes, now I can sign. And he left. But to show simple emuna in this man, simple emuna and commitment, again, 
and the family that he put in, on the f- power of davening, and the power of the graves of the tzaddikim, in particular, the power of davening by Rabbi Nachman's grave.